All right, it's time to script for the new Aurora Case video. Get this shit done quick. Let me see here. Lavender Town, and then that MLP thing. Ugh. Ah, here's one. All right, this will be done in no time. Six months later. Hey, what's up everybody? My name's Aurora Hayes, and it's just about time for our new video. Uploaded just about a year after the first one. And yeah, I know it's been like, what, five months since the last video, but you know... What? What do you mean it's been longer than that? Well, how long has it been? It's been how long? Wait, how long? Almost a- ALMOST A YEAR?! Where's your pr- Oh, ooh. Alright. Well then, you know what? No excuses, no, I'm just gonna say, I get lazy. Oh, I guess I gotta throw this piece of outdated shit out. And scripting powers, don't fail me now! So all jokes aside, I've been asked to do some well-known creepypastas like Lavender Town Syndrome and the Luna Game, it's called, or some shit like that. And I said I'd do them, and well, I lied. But not on purpose. I jumped into saying I do them simply because people asked, and not because of the basis that I've been reading them because they're less known. And we're gonna forego Ben Drowned and Sonic.exe. We're just gonna pretend... I just did them just to do them. Yeah, so, yeah, okay. Oh, and by the way, I didn't forget about you, person who asked me to read one that you sent personally. You know who you are, you cheeky bastard, you, if you're still paying attention at this point. Instead, I'm doing a little lesser-known gem called Banjo's Murder. Disclaimer, I will not, and I repeat not, talk about Banjo-Kazooie nuts and bolts whatsoever. Anyway, so our author, and because, you know, authors don't give names, I have to supply you with names. We'll call this one Ronnie? Ronnie. Ronnie starts our story by giving us a little disclaimer, stating, I should tell you that it is very hard story for me to tell. Yeah, very hard story. It hurts me to even think about it, so forgive me if I start to get emotional. And here we go. So Ronnie here is playing Skyrim and doing Skyrim things. Waiting for a package containing Banjo-Tooie, which he had bought on eBay when, boom, there, package on the porch. He opens it and there you go, one Banjo-Tooie and a note, apparently with the words sorry.exe written on it. See, there's always a note attached to the creepy shit things. And a flash drive falls out from the note. So little Ronnie throws the note away, ignores the flash drive, and starts to play the game. He played for a couple of days and only noticed a few glitches. Every once in a while, the screen would randomly flicker red and white very quickly and then return to normal. A harmless little glitch, right? Right? No, you're wrong! It's always wrong! After entering Glitter Gulch Mine, he didn't know the fuck. <sighs> he noticed there weren't a lot of enemies, but moved on to the next world anyway, which was Witchy World. Anyone that's played the game knows there's a big-ass ladder that you climb into, like, the... What's it called? The dive tank type thing? It's like the, the dive of death? Something like that. But you, you know what I mean. It's a big-ass ladder, like, too goddamn high. Like, airplanes passing by your face high. Like... Like, Styles P high. Like, uh... Like, Snoop Dog Lion Dingleberry high. Anyway, he climbs the ladder and pauses because that was a long climb and apparently he got pretty thirsty from watching Banjo climb that long ass ladder, so he leaves to get a drink. And when he comes back, the game is unpaused and Banjo is looking at the screen. Ronnie thinks he may have kicked the controller when he got up and unpaused it by accident, but when he tries to move Banjo, Banjo ain't moving nowhere! Why don't these people ever realize when shit starts to get weird? Why are you always so goddamn stupid when it comes to stuff like this? 
like, Duh. oh no, weirdness going on. Nothing out of the ordinary. You were all, oh, I gotta keep playing the game. You could have just walked away. But you didn't, you prick. So fuck you. Please stand by. We briefly apologize for Eagle Raptor material used up to this point. Now sit your stupid ass down and finish the video. Ronnie goes to unplug the controller when he hears Banjo's voice thing when he does when he talks. Don't pull that cord. Mm-hmm. Tell me more about this. From the safety of the nope zone. Ronnie runs to his banjo, starts moving on his own, and then takes off his backpack to start looking through it, and he pulls out a picture of Ronnie? Not the body of his bird companion? Not a severed skull head? Oh, disappointment.jpg. This is what's going to happen to you if you dare pull that cord out. And the picture of Ronnie slowly rots, flesh peeling, blood oozing, jaw dislocating, rotting. I'm having a bit of a flashback here to about a year Red ago. Red flag. Red flag. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. Do not continue playing. You get the fuck out of there. If someone's in the way, you run that bitch over. And then screeching came from the speakers. And then the camera zoomed out to show Banjo strangling his best birdie friend Kazooie and shaking her like she was a cheap dime store tramp. We here at Aurora Cave do not support animal on animal abuse. We do, however, find it appropriate for this video. Then the screeching turned to gagging until Banjo took Kazooie and tossed her body off screen, and Banjo laughed to himself. See, now because the characters make these noises to signify the speaking with text actually doing the speaking for them, it's probably not all that scary. So of course, I'm gonna have to do some voice acting here. I will kill you. You are nothing. And you know nothing. Ronnie leaps off his bed and unplugs the 64 and claims not to have turned it on since, but states he will reconquer his fears and turn the game back on the following day. Red flag. Red flag. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. Do not continue playing. You get the fuck out of there. January 10th. Oh god, the story is becoming Sonic.exe all over again. As soon as Ronnie gets around to turning on the 64, the screen flashed red and black until he could make out Banjo swinging on a swing. He could hear the faint squeaking of the swing and distorted music in the background. Banjo continued to swing until he slowly turned his head towards the screen, and then he stopped swinging and just stared, and finally got up and started walking towards the screen. This is like a bad horror movie when you're screaming at the girl not to go in the closet because she heard a sound, but she's gonna keep going anyway, and then the killer pops out in front of her, and you're like, I told you she, he was fucking in there, why'd you go? Same promise. Ronnie desperately tapped the pause button, but there would be no pause It's enough so that the only thing visible was his head, and then all of a sudden, his head is just thrown to the right and all the bones pop out of his neck, and then towards the left and all the bones popped out that way. And then Ronnie throws up EVERYWHERE! Then Banjo's head is thrust forward and back, and then he began to float. And Ronnie apparently knows that more is coming. First, Banjo's left leg is thrown into the air and twisted until his bones stick and pop out. And again to the right. But this time, but only this time, Banjo screams. So, left leg, no pain. Right leg, excruciating pain. Seems legit. His arms are lifted and pulled out of their sockets and blood is everywhere. And then the screen flashes and Banjo is now in some sort of torture device. So now we're doing Saw. Spiral Mountain Edition. Cool. And then a lever is pulled and it pulls Banjo apart. And then the screen flashes and Banjo's back on Spiral Mountain as if it never happened. January 11th. Ronnie decides to put the flash drive into his computer, and a text doc named sorry.exe was on it, and he opened it. And it read, this glorious piece of mess right here. And after reading it, he promptly threw the cartridge and the flash drive out. Something he should have done from the goddamn beginning. Now here we have in its prime stupidest as holiest. Too stupid to turn the game off. 
And now, my Hayes faithfuls, it's time for my favorite part of the show. What the fuck is wrong with this story? Number one, everything. Number one, there's so many things going on in this story, I don't know whether to puke or have a seizure. Hey, this is kind of... It's kind of my stuff you're messing with right now. I'm kind of in the middle of something. It, it's cool. Just take it easy, all right? Calm the fuck down. Jeez. See you in the break room. Calm. Cool it. Number two. This seems to be copying many other creepy pasta stories out there. Let's go up through the checklist, huh? Let me see here. Blood and gore. Check. Murder of characters' friends. Check. No control over video game. Double check. Distorted picture of player. Check. Rooney. And last but not least, the destruction or removal of the game. Super check. Oh, and can I just hilariously point out that the the jumbled up text looks like I know it says kill them, but to me it looks like milk them. If you speed look over it, it's not just me, right? Somebody go back and look at it. Put in the comments that you see it. Make me feel good. Alright, moving on. Grunty is not mentioned in this story whatsoever. How is the main villain not even included in the damn game? How could she not have anything to do with this creepypasta? Just look at that layer. Nightmare fuel. Hello. And how about how Bottles is dead and the evil Bottles theory thing that was supposed to be a thing which you could still access if you really knew how to? Or the zombified Jinjo King which gave me nightmares as a kid? Come on! Number 4. Why did it take three days for this story? The same reason it took a year for you to make a new video! Oh. Ouch, guys. Ouch. But, touche, you win my respect. You earned that, but if you're looking for a decent comeback, you'll have to scrape it off the back of your mom's teeth! Eh? Eh? No? 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 Too soon? Okay. So, all crap jokes aside, a bad creepypasta is a bad creepypasta no matter what character you're killing. So with that being said, I'm Aurora Case and I'll see you next month. Yes, I said it. Next month. I'm not even kidding. Watch, when the next video comes out, you're gonna be like, Oh, she wasn't kidding. And I'd be like, yeah, that's right, I wasn't kidding. Now don't you feel stupid? So yeah, next month. Thanks for watching!